So I see a clip is going viral where Amanda Sills is talking about her lack of support for Vice President Kamala Harris. And be clear, I don't care if she supports her or not. She's entitled to do that. She's entitled to her opinion. However, I have to push back on any notion that Vice President Kamala Harris erases or marginalizes systemic racism, especially as vice president, when there is ample evidence to the contrary. So I'm just going to lay out where Amanda makes points about things that need to be addressed and where Vice President Kamala Harris stands on that. We have shooters that are going into places and killing people because of their race. Mm -hmm. And then we're not calling it domestic terrorism. What we know from the intelligence community, one of the greatest threats to our national security is domestic terrorism manifested by white supremacists. We have an entire culture of police that are killing black people and getting away with it because the law says they can. I was, as a senator, as a United States senator, a co-author of the original George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. And as Vice President of the United States, we demand that Congress pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. Joe Biden will sign it. And we should not delay and we will not be denied. It is non-negotiable. We have a country that was 1,000% built on the foundation of racism that now legislators are trying to pretend didn't happen and are getting that through and doing it on an education level. Black history is American history. <laughs> Living history breathing history, history that we create every day, and history that we then must teach and celebrate, a history that helps us to understand how the past has influenced the present and potentially our future. And let us all be clear, we will not, as a nation, build a better future for America by trying to erase America's past. And on a DEI level, you cannot, as the second in line to the highest form of office in this country, make a message on hope. And so these are issues that we must confront. And it doesn't, it does not help to heal our country, to unify us as a people, to ignore the realities of that. So what have we learned? If you care about what the vice president has to say about certain issues, maybe you should start paying attention to her when she speaks instead of taking a headline and running with it. But more on this, this Saturday, my show, the Reese Cobra Show, Series XM, Urban View Channel 126, 3 to 4 p.m. Tune in.